Um, but what they did with the payment terms is they really beefed up the, um, the functionality that you have in here. So now you actually have the ability to set your due date for transactions um, based on a specific number of days, number of months, or even on uh, annual. Um, or you can set it to a specific day of the month. Um, so I'm just going to pull up a quick example I did here, uh, just called April Fools. Uh, I set this one up to calculate on the transaction, or excuse me. Uh, so our due date here is calculating from the transaction date. So you can choose if you wanted to do it from the discount date, from the transaction date, either way. And I have it set to a specific month and day. So no matter what I enter for my transaction date, if I choose these payment terms, the due date is always going to be April 1st, uh, the next instance of April 1st, obviously. It wouldn't go back, backwards. But, um, so if I enter a transaction for today, it's going to be due um, April 1st of 2016. If I enter a transaction next week, when it gets to be uh, you know, April 2nd, the due date on that is going to be April 1st of 2017. Um, and then same thing with the discount. You have um, a bunch of different options on how you can calculate that. Right now I've just got this set up to be uh, the discount date is the same as the due date. So discount is at zero days. Um, and then you can set your percentage. But just to look at some of the other options that they now have um, for payment terms, you can do net days which is always going to be uh, just a set number of days from the transaction date. So whether you want that to be 30 days, um, 15, anything like that. You can set it to a specific date. So this would be the uh, specific day of the month. So now I can say I always want things to be due on the 30th of every month. So if I enter in 30 here, um, any transaction that I enter today is going to be due March 30th. Any transaction I enter in April is due April 30th. You can always choose end of month, which is very similar to um, what we just talked about, but this is always the last day of the month. Uh, you can also choose to add a number of days onto that. You can, have your, you can choose to not calculate a due date. Um, you can also choose to go to the next month and then set a date. So I could set this to the 15th. And if I enter a transaction today, it's going to be due April 15th. Um, if I enter a transaction next week on April 1st, it's going to be due May 15th, because it always goes to the next month. Um, you can also set it to just add a month, one or more months, onto the date. Uh, you can set, like we looked at before, specific month and day to have it due. Or you can set it to be an annual due date, so add one year, um, two years, whatever you'd like there. 